What's up guys and welcome back to LSJ TV. So we're starting off today's video where we left off the last one. We're going to open up these two packages. One is from Alphalete and one is from Lean. So let's get into today's video guys. Okay, so we'll start off with the t-shirt guys. And there is actually a little bit of a story behind this. As, as you can see there's brand new packaging like almost summery kind of packaging from Alphalete there. But I actually ordered two summer shredding t-shirts. Well I got one and Charlotte got one. But then... Um, the green one was the wrong size and the red one was the right one and for some reason it all got mixed up but Alphalete sorted it out, no issues and they managed to get me a replacement green t-shirt so actually it's a little bit annoying because these are now on sale for £9 and I paid £18 for this but nevertheless it's still a lot cheaper and it's the exact same material as the rest of it so summer training, proud but never satisfied Alphalete on the back there um, yeah and that's that guys so let's get into what I'm most excited about this is from uh, a lot of you know if you've been watching the channel for a while, you will know that I'm sponsored, well, working with a company called Lean Active. And this is their latest sort of bundle that they decided to send me. Uh, so if I just get right into it here, just a couple of little goodies in here. Another brand new, gosh, Lean Shaper, as you guys can see there. And, oh, this is good, this is good, okay. Right, we have a brand new Lean Nutrition Whey Protein Strawberry Flavor, as you guys can see there. So it's in a nice, handy little bag, strawberry flavor, and this has 32 grams of protein per serving. So, as well as this, you can see we've got a nice little carry bag there. So if you ever wanted to, actually, this will come in handy. It can be my brand new, like, gym bag. I often have to sneak this camera in to, um, to the gym at uni and stuff and so actually just having this that I can strap on go like this will be really really helpful um, so yeah that is it that is the latest delivery from Lean as always remember guys discount code and links in the description box 10 Liam will get you 10% off your order be sure to make the most of that guys because this stuff tastes awesome so today is Monday and as everybody knows, that is International Chest Day. So what I'm going to be doing is training using this half rack that we have here. What I'll do for the first couple of videos is just kind of explain what equipment I have and, and uh, what, kind of, what kind of things I use them for. So without further ado guys, let's get into today's chest workout. Right guys, so what I'm actually doing at the minute is just getting the blood in the chest, warming up the shoulders, warming up the elbows, just getting some blood overall around the body, letting that pre-workout set in as well, doing some chest flies, doing some overall just mobility work, and then we'll get straight into the heavy sets. Right guys, so today is a high volume chest day. I don't tend to do high volume and low volume, but lately I've been really enjoying, really having having a lot of fun playing around with high volume uh, training. So what I've done is lowered the weight, I've done pyramid sets. I started off at 40, did like 15 reps, then put on 60, then did 10 reps, then put on 80, and did 8 reps. I've done that uh, up and then down again. So really focusing on that contraction, focusing on that squeeze, making the most of that high volume and then getting the most out of the chest workout. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go on to lat pull down, because we go chest back, chest back, and then we're doing a little bit of shoulders, just so we're hitting the entire upper body. Next move of the day is lat pull down. And as you guys can see here, we actually use the uh, cables for this, purely because we don't actually have a, a dedicated lat pull down machine. But what I love about this is that it really makes you focus on that mind to muscle connection. Purely because if you pull more with one arm, then you can find yourself dragging down with that arm and then not using the other lat. So it really gets you thinking about that mind to muscle connection, gets you working the entire back, gets you an awesome pump. I always find that when I come home and stop using your conventional lat pull down, I always get a slightly different ache from this. So this does actually go to show how you can use slightly different muscles, maybe different stabilizers, something like that, when you use slightly different variants of the same movement. Right guys, the next movement is incline bench press. What I've done is just adjust it so it's at the right height. Always, always necessary just to avoid injury as much as possible. So what I decided to do was just go straight in for 60 kilos, but go for four sets of 10 reps. Just again, to get that even, uh, get even more volume in, get a better pump and an overall better workout. It's just what I've been really enjoying lately. Making the most of doing that negative contraction, 
just focusing on the negative part of the motion, breaking those muscle fibers down as much as possible, and then exploding again back up to the top. Fourth movement of the day is a row. I've decided to do four sets. As you can see here, I put the wide grip on today just to mix it up a little bit. As I said, when you come home, you can work slightly different muscle groups, just make the most out of the workout. So I did two sets where it was just a chest high, really focusing on that contraction, pulling from the elbows, and then I actually lowered it down again and did two from the bottom, just making sure, again, to focus on that contraction and, and just make the most of actually being in the home gym and being able to quickly change through exercises, quickly change through ranges of motion, and again, make the most out of the workout. Next movement of the day is my favorite of all movements, purely because I just, everyone, everyone loves the, the feeling of a chest pump, right? Me especially, I love cable flies, purely because you get the most incredible pump from it, especially if you do it right. If you keep that tension on the chest, you don't go too far back and put that strain on your shoulder, especially for me, because anyone who knows me knows my mobility is shite. And so basically, I don't go too far back. As you can see here, I come round about back to here, because if I go any further than that, I start to get a pulling in my shoulder. And so pretty much all I do is just come back to here, keeping that squeeze in the chest, really keeping the focus and the tension on the chest the entire time, leads to the best pump out of anything, I think. That was then followed up with rear delt flies. Again, keeping that tension on the rear delt, the same as the chest flies, we're keeping that, we're not coming too far across. So nice and easy this week, guys, keeping it nice and light. I use like three kilos maximum on this because I find that if you go too heavy, you end up shrugging and using in a load of secondary muscle uh, groups in the movement, and that is not what we want. We want to keep the tension on the rear delt to reduce that risk of injury as much as possible and increase that range of motion for the, for the rear delt as well. My shoulder flexibility is crap so i really have to take time and really be careful with this movement just to reduce that risk of injury as much as possible guys last movement of the day is that bicep tricep superset which you guys have come to know and love over the last few weeks especially i have become to know and love i do it pretty much every single workout i find it's just a really really good burnout at the end of the session it leaves you feeling the gym with that full arm pump you know, you know like you almost feel like you've got a pulse in your arm it's just such a good movement always just keep the focus on keeping that elbow as still as possible and really just using the bicep and pushing from the tricep step as well so just make sure that you're doing that guys otherwise you'll end up bringing in shoulders to it and again you're just not getting the most out of the movement so keep that elbow nice and locked still I was explaining this to a good friend of mine not that long ago keep that elbow nice and still and then curl so you don't want this you want this it's as simple as that guys. Keep that form nice and steady, keep that weight nice and controlled, and then you'll get the most out of the movement. I've lost count how many times I've said that this session, but it's so true guys. So that is gonna conclude the workout. Let's get on with the rest of the video. Right guys, so this is what the current lean stack is looking like. As you can see, we've got a massive amount of stuff right now. So we've got a nice handy carrier bag, which is gonna be amazing for when I'm at uni. Pre-workout BCAAs, CLAs, two shakers, and the brand new protein that they just sent me as well. What we're gonna do now is just do an official take Taste test because I've never actually tried the strawberry protein before. I'm very, very excited. Strawberry protein is my favorite. It's almost like they knew. They probably did know they watched every single one of my videos. So what I'm gonna do is have a first official taste test. There is actually 32 grams of, of protein in every single scoop, guys. There we go. Right, okay guys, so that I think is nice and shaken up properly. Smells pretty damn good. Oh, tastes like, you know, you know kind of like a McDonald's milkshake, but not quite as thick. It literally, it's like having a dessert, it's like having a pudding. And the macros on it are insane. So in one scoop, which is 50 grams, you have 176 calories, 1.1 grams of fat, only 6.9 grams of carbs, 32.5 grams of protein. So Lean have pulled it out of the bag with this one. So well done Lean on this product. Big thumbs up from LSJ TV. Right guys, so as you can see, we have made it to Charlotte's house. It is where I'm gonna to conclude today's video. It's also where we're gonna start off the next video, so stay tuned for that. Um, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know by leaving a like. Something a little bit different with the kind of uh, workout commentary that I did. I didn't actually have anyone to help me, so I kind of had to improvise, but it worked out all right, if you ask me. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below, guys. As always, thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Remember, no regrets. I'll see you guys in the next video.